A place that helps people when they're at their lowest is now receiving help. The Grief Center almost had to push back their opening date when they were broken into, but the community wasn't about to let that happen. A 17-year-old high school senior was a particularly big help. Brianna Wilson met her earlier today with a look at how the project she's excited about unveiling tonight. Brianna. Yeah, that's right, Ryan. Hundreds have donated their time, money, and equipment to the Grief Center after thieves hit them almost a year ago. Now they're no longer just surviving, they're thriving. And part of that is because a young girl picked up the phone and asked if there was anything she could do to help. 17-year-old Fallon Setter first heard about the Grief Center after it was broken into last summer. What we need right now is financial support from the community to be able to help us not only replace the items that were taken, but also to help cover the cost of having the damage repaired. I saw the news story that they got broken into, so I reached out. So that first phone call was just kind of like hearing about how much damage there was and what they lost and really just letting them know that I'm willing to help with anything that they that they need from me. What the grief center needed was a safe space for people of all ages to really let it all out. So this is the blowing off steam room and it's used for just letting out your anger through from your grief, um, but in a safe way. Setter raised more than $4,000 with help from her friends, family and parents, coworkers to make it happen. You take one. Okay. And I take one. Oh. <laughs> Well, we had around 20 to 30 people who helped reach out with donations. The money helped pay for the padded walls and the floors. A lot of times with children, anger is disguised as pain. And so they don't know how to express that pain. And so being able to come in this room and, you know, kick something, punch something, stomp their feet, you know, slam up against the wall, however they want to do it, it's really important. And it's safe. It can also be used as a quiet space. It's a nice space to cuddle up with one of our stuffed animals and be able to maybe just sit quietly. We have a lot of books in our free grief resource library. The development director for the Grief Center says she's overwhelmed by the support they've received from the community since their break in. From donated money and equipment to volunteers that have allowed them to expand their programs. We've served almost 700 people since September and we're just really fortunate to be able to to have this service in our community. Now Sutter chose this as her gold award project for Girl Scouts. Tonight at six, all of those donors who contributed to the blowing off steam room will be able to see it for the first time. But Grief Center reps say they've been using it since February and have already seen tremendous progress from this service. They also gave an update on another teens project that helped them recover last year, the Harmonies of Hope concert, organized by a 16-year-old Rio Rancho High School student, raised more than $14,000 for the Grief Center. Young kids making a big difference right here in our community, Ryan. Absolutely. Great to see you, Brianna. Thanks.